So like I said, this is 6500K. To my eye, it looks perfectly white, almost a tint of blue. Let's go to 4000. You can see the light changed pretty drastically. It used to be a very cool white color, and now it's more of like a soft, warm white with some orangish yellow color in there. To my eye, this is a very yellowy, almost orange, kind of like a buttery color, and it looks really good. This color temperature is very reminiscent of a typical tungsten bulb of the old days, something like this. We're back again with another product from Wise. Yes, this seems to be a recurring theme here on this channel. I've reviewed quite a bit of Wise products, mostly their cameras lately, but this time it's something a little different. This time with this Wise bulb white, I'm trying to solve a problem that I have here at my house. I have some outdoor lighting on the sides of my garage as well as on my front porch and back patio, and unfortunately they are all operated via a light switch. And even more unfortunately, the two lights on the sides of my garage are operated by a switch located in the garage. Now at first that might seem like no big deal, just walk outside and turn them on. But what ends up happening is you forget to either turn them on or turn them off and lo and behold, your lights are either never on or always on. And so scratching my head, I tried to figure out how I could solve this problem. I pondered going to my local big box hardware store and picking up a timer switch, but then I realized that Wise makes light bulbs. And those light bulbs are probably capable of automation and scheduling exactly like I would expect them to be. And thus, I picked up this four pack of the Wise Bulb White. So what do you say we open this thing up and see what comes in the box? On the very top, we have this quick start guide. And as usual, Wise does a pretty good job with their quick start guide, and it should be a snap to set these things up. And now looking inside the box, we can see the four Wise bulbs. Let's go ahead and pull one out here. So let's go ahead and pull this plastic off of here and see what this thing looks like. All right, no surprise here. It looks pretty much exactly like every other LED bulb that you've ever seen. Okay, I just paired this bulb with the Wise app and I have it pulled up here on my phone. And here's what that app looks like to control the color temperature of the light as well as the brightness. And you can obviously dive much deeper into the app to control all kinds of automation and stuff like that. But for now, I just wanted to show you the different color temperatures of the light. So what you're seeing right now is only 1% brightness and it is at 6500K. So if I turn the brightness all the way up, that's 100% brightness, and that is pretty dang bright. It says on the box that the max brightness of these bulbs is 800 lumens, so that is pretty dang good for an LED bulb. Now let's turn that brightness all the way back down to 1%, and here we are back at 1%. Now, what I'm gonna do is slide through the color temperature. So like I said, this is 6500K. To my eye, it looks perfectly white, almost a tint of blue. If I go ahead and slide the app down to, for example, 40, let's go to 4,000, you can see the light changed pretty drastically. It used to be a very cool white color, and now it's more of like a soft, warm white with some orangish yellow color in there. By the way, the camera that I'm using to film this video has its white balance set to daylight. So you should be able to see the different colors just as I do. Now let's take this all the way down to 2700K, which is gonna be the most orange or yellow, whatever you wanna call it, uh, tungsten color of light. Hopefully you can see that. I hope the camera is able to pick up the difference in color temperature. We will do a night scene where I'll show you these lights at night. But to my eye, this is a very yellowy, almost orange, kind of like a buttery color, and it looks really good. To get a better idea of the color temperature of the light, just look at the light reflecting off of my skin here. This color temperature is very reminiscent of a typical tungsten bulb of the old days, something like this. Now, if I go back through and go all the way back up to 6500K, and this is more of that very cool white color that you see more typically nowadays that we have these LED lights, um, and it really is your preference. Some people prefer the more warm yellowy color and some people prefer the you know, whiter color and you know, it kind of gives you that impression that you can see things better because it's a clearer looking light. So look at the color of the light on my skin and hopefully you can tell the difference between this and what the tungsten 2700 color was. Now here is that old school tungsten bulb actually turned on. And you can see the color temperature of this bulb is just like 
that 2700K color temperature that we were seeing earlier. Although it is probably a bit brighter because when we were looking at the 2700K on the wise bulb, the brightness was set to 1%. And what do you think? What looks better? Or do they both look the same? Comment down in the comment section below. So here's a view of three of these lights. One right on the front patio there by the front door, and two on either side of the garage doors. I'm really enjoying the amount of light these are putting off. They're all at 100%. Looking at the WISE app here, you can see right up top, I have what I named outside lights. You can also see the icon is two of the WISE bulbs. And that's because this is a group of all of my WISE bulbs that are outside. If I click that, you can see right up top the list of all of my wise bulbs. I have them all set at the same brightness and the same color temperature, which you can see is 5000K. So if I wanted to change the brightness of all the lights at the same time, I simply slide the slider down and just like that, all of the lights at the exact same time changed their brightness. I'll try to do it on camera here. I just turn them all off. and back on and increase their brightness all at the same time. Now, if I wanna change the color temperature all at the same time, all I have to do is just click on the color wheel and hopefully we're able to see that in the background. All of the color is now at 6,437K. Now let's do something crazy and make them completely yellow. and you are seeing pretty much exactly what I'm seeing. Once again, the camera I'm using to film this has a constant white balance, so it's not adjusting its white balance to compensate for the color of the light. And so this is a close representation of exactly what I'm seeing. All right, and there we go, we're back to 5000K. All right, now I'm definitely pretty stoked right now because this solves a major problem I had here at my house. All of my outside lights were of course on a switch and I didn't wanna have to remember to walk around the house in every room and into the garage and flip all the switches up at night. And then in the morning, remember to walk around into every single room and switch all the switches back off in the morning. That just gets annoying and you end up not doing it and you end up just leaving them on all the time, which I don't really wanna do. And so now with these Wise Bulbs and the Wise app, I can group them all together and I can schedule them to come on at sunset and turn off at sunrise. So you just give it your location so it knows where you're at and it'll automatically know when your sunset and sunrise are. Even that makes it so much easier than having to go in and adjust the time based off of when sunset and sunrise is. That's something that I would have still had to do had I installed timer switches around the house to control these lights. Yes, those timer switches would have helped the lights to be able to come on and turn off on their own, but I would have had to go in there periodically and adjust that time based on when it's actually getting dark out and when the sun is coming up. So overall, I'm very happy with the amount of light that's being put off by these wise bulbs. I'm very happy with the color temperature range that they give you. I'm very happy with what's called the CRI or color rendering index, which is over 90, which is very good. I'm also extremely happy with the functionality that I get with the WISE app and being able to group all of these together and have it completely automated. It's just amazing. Well, that'll do it for the WISE Bulb White. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're not a subscriber of the channel, consider subscribing. I'm Jimmy for The General Expert here on YouTube, signing out.